Hello everyone. I'm Charlene Randall, the founder of Diamond Life Credit Repair Services. And um, this is actually part two of the video that I just did on uh, securing your credit in your account. So keeping your account in your uh, credit safe. So basically, which should definitely be a priority. You know, anytime you are dealing with personal sensitive information, you should definitely keep it private and uh, secure. So uh, we left off talking in the last video about uh, securing your devices and networks. So basically and definitely you want to keep your uh, devices and your network safe. So with your computer, be sure to know, you know, if someone else is logging on to your computer, uh, you know, that your passwords are not open. Be sure that uh, you did everything to secure yourself uh, prior to anyone else being able to log in to, uh, to your computer because, you know, that uh, can be a security risk. If you have friends or you have a, you know, a laptop, even sometime in different Wi-Fi networks, you know, you could be at risk. So all, you always want to secure your computer that way. And another thing you want to do is to make sure you download and update your computer. Like if you have your iPhone, basically, you know, you always get a notification to uh, do updates. So basically those updates come with uh, most, of, most of the time, more security and things like that. So you wanna make sure that your information and your updates are always, you know, on time and updated and um, the newest update available your system uh, also you know it's a good thing to install security software on your computers uh, maybe antivirus but sometimes it uh, protects your computer from hackers hackers are always out there trying to get information so even when uh, you're not sure it's, it doesn't have to be that someone that's you know just comes past your computer and looks at something and gets some information they shouldn't have but you know hackers are always trying to do things so uh, antivirus is also a good thing to have. Uh, the next thing is you want to protect yourself online. Your credit, your finances, your account numbers, all of this information, you know, can, you know, if it gets in the wrong hands, can be very detrimental. You don't want your personal information getting in the wrong hands. So you want to protect yourself online. You know, online shopping is definitely, you know, popular. And, you know, we purchase everything online now. We purchase, you know, everything from groceries to, you know, uh, clothing, footwear, you know, and, you know, a whole lot of things, you know, we are purchasing. I mean, everything. Is it anything that, you know, we're not purchasing online yet? You know, everything can be purchased online at this point. Uh, so you want to make sure that you protect your information. So, you know, you want to, you know, go to businesses, uh, you know, that have secure uh, sites and so on and so forth. So uh, because a lot of the, uh, the websites, they'll have like an S in the, the web address. So basically, if they have an S in a web address most of the time, well, that means basically that they are a secure site. So, you know, you want to look for a secure site uh, because that means your information is not shared there. So, you know, also, you know, be, you know, very careful and aware that you are doing that. Another thing you want to do uh, is to keep your passwords secret. There's no reason to have a password, you know, if everybody knows your password because then, you know, everybody can access your account. So you want to keep your password secret. So this means, you know, your password to any uh, bank account, your password to any website, you know, your password to any, you know, account that you may have with a particular company. Keep those accounts secret. Your bank, you know, your bank account, uh, your bank accounts um secret you know you don't want anybody to be able to see your statements or anything like that uh, so you know pick a good password and keep a secret because you know some people you know are you know trying trying to guess 
other people's passwords and things like that. So, you know, you want to pick a, a one that sounds more secure for you so that people don't have the option of getting into your accounts. So you definitely want to make sure you do that. Check your account often. So, you know, reviewing your account activity is critical, a critical part of understanding exactly what's going on in your account. If you check your account more often than not, then you will know if something is suspicious or if there's any activity on the site or on your account that, you know, was not permitted by you. So basically, this is what you want to do. You want to make sure that you're checking your accounts often. So make sure that you know what's in your account. You know what charges are charged to your account. You know what purchases you made and when. And when, you know, they should be there and when they should not be there. So, you know, basically, you know, and if you were a victim of identity theft in the past, you want to make sure that you definitely have fraud alerts. Uh, because that person had your prior information, you know. So you want to make sure that you get a... a um, Fraud alert or monitoring service uh, so you'll know exactly and have a better chance of keeping up to date with what's going on because it's very uh, crucial. You want to keep your uh, account safe. You want to, you know, be able to, to have better habits and you also want to make sure that no one ever, you know, gets their hands on your credit and able to, you know, do that again because it's a, it's a headache. If any, anybody has ever been through identity theft, I'm sure you know it's a headache. So these things will protect you, you know, from being a victim of identity theft. You, you just don't want that. It's, a, it's definitely a headache. Uh, and the last thing we're going to talk about is if your bank card, credit card, or anything of that nature is lost, you or stolen, basically, you need to report it right away. If you lose your credit card, report it right away. So you want to contact your bank. Uh, or the credit card issuer and let them know that you cannot find your card and that, you know, you would either like a replacement card and to discontinue that card. So they'll block that card and that account number, you know, so no one else can use them. So, you know, they'll give you a new one. So you need to do that because, you know, doing that as soon as possible is the best thing to do because once you uh, notify them that, you know, your card has been stolen or lost, then they can take action. So, and they can stop someone else from, you know, being able to make purchases on their behalf. And that person, you know, or whoever, you know, if someone has a card or you just lost it, it's better to be safe than sorry. So you want to make sure you call that credit card company or uh, issuer and let them know that your card has been, you know, compromised and you want to get a new card. So, you know, these are the things that you definitely need to do in order to keep your finances safe, in order to keep your credit safe, in order to keep your account safe. So, you know, it's better to do what you can do than do nothing at all. So, you know, some people don't take it seriously. You know, you want to take it seriously. You want to be on top of your finances so that you don't have to lose out, you know, on someone else's behalf. You know, someone else is doing that whatever and, you know, with your account, that's not going to be a good thing, you know, so, you know, so you want to keep it safe. You want to keep it safe. You'll be surprised at, you know, some ways that people try to get into your accounts. So, you know, doing small things can go a long way. So basically, you know, covering up your numbers, you know, and the things that we discuss. These things can help you save money. These things can help you save headache and stress along the way and, you know, help prevent you from being a victim of identity theft as well. So uh, make sure you practice these things, you know, make them habits so that you will not be the victim, you know, of someone else's uh, scam or fraud uh, behavior. So... I hope this has helped you and if it has helped you make sure you share this make sure you uh subscribe to the channel for more uh there definitely will be a lot more uh, coming from this channel i just think that you know it's it's great to be able to help people and to show them things that you know they may have missed and to give credit information you know so 
you can do the things that you need to do with your finances. So I will see you in the next video. And if you haven't watched part one of this video, make sure you go back and watch part one as well. And this is part two of keeping your credit and account safe.